Yo YouTube, the Hodgeable here. I'm on a journey to learn every language and our topic for today is the best way to learn languages. I have five years of experience learning different languages and I'd say the answer is simple. Do what you like in the language that you want to learn. Do what you like because that's what's actually going to keep you engaged actually help you to build some passion so that you can continue progressing in your languages so that you continue taking it step by step but you gotta have the passion and you gotta like what you're doing so that you can actually be into it be engaged do what you enjoy in the language and for everyone that's different because we all have different learning styles we all have different personal styles some people may want to listen to people speak some people may want to listen to music you know so I might want to read the subtitles of a movie you might want to read a text message from your foreign friend or from their social media post uh, I could want to watch I could want to watch an action show you could want to watch a drama but those are different things th that are going to engage different people you know if if you are just reading out of books and going to classes spending your time paying for you know university courses and these types of things it's possible that that might not engage you and you won't actually progress but when you're listening to the music that you like the podcast that you you know you want to listen to going it going to the restaurants and eating the foreign food talking with the the service people face to face if that's what you're into that's what you should be doing to improve with your language ability What's really most important is every day, every day that you get some exposure to the language so that it's still active in your brain. And it's important that you speak some of the language every single day. That's what's more important. And one of the beautiful things about languages is there's always more material for you to engage with, especially with social media. Facebook you can find people in every single country maybe you don't have to add those people but you can see what's on their wall see if you can understand their their posts see if you can understand the memes the funny pictures that they're posting up the, the videos movies all kinds of different movies for every single different language and culture it gives you a different window into into these different lifestyles for the language that you're learning if you're into that watch some movie uh, the music of course with the music you're getting song lyrics you're getting song lyrics and grammar right there in the music if you just take the time get the vocabulary from the lyrics also look at how they're saying things you can learn quickly 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 listening to Korean drama music things like that listening to Spanish music Chinese music um, what else talking with people if you are a people person and you enjoy to talk with people face to face you c there's there's buildings that are full of native speakers of whatever language you speak find out where those people are you could walk into the room and have 10 people to talk with if you're more of a private person more of an introvert but you still need talking practice one thing that you can do is uh, get on eTalki which is social media for language learning you could you could use Skype talk to somebody over webcam you know Facebook Messenger to get that communication with, with someone if that's what you need and that's what you like but for everyone everyone is going to have their own personal style when it comes to language learning and we really do have to remember that everybody has their own style everybody has their own individual ways that they actually receive information myself I can be an independent learner I can learn from books I can learn from listening to audio resources um, just taking information in by myself without much communication but then I do know that communication is one of the main keys to actually remembering and re retaining things it simply is the truth talking with the native speaker face to face is one of the best most efficient ways to keep that vocabulary because you're gonna have so many memorable, memorable experiences 